Hi, I was just about to shoot a teardown Tuesday when I got a tip off that there's a dumpster full of gear right to the brim, overflowing with gear that's about to be tossed out. So I thought I'd check it out. Heard that a lot of the good stuff is gone, so maybe it's just the dregs, but you know, I can't turn down a dumpster full of gear, so let's go. Never know you're luck in the big city. All right, I found it. Check this out. I can't tell you where it is, but uh, yeah, apparently um, there were vector network analyzers and all sorts of stuff in there. They're gone, but let's have a look. Let's have a look. What do we got left? What do we got left? Uh, really old stuff. Stabilized transistor power supply. Look at that. That's fantastic. Sorry, I don't have my uh, proper camera with me. Should have got a little level oscillator. Never heard of that. Um, Peg, bleh. oh Siemens, there you go, sweet. So HP, HP what? 15 volt, six amp, that'd be one of the old uh, HP power supplies. Uh, Radio Lab, uh, switch mode power supply. Wow, 70 volts, that's kind of oddball. And <laughs> we've got a, uh, a photocopy is gone. What do we got? Oh. Hang on. Oh, jeez, this thing's heavy. What is, what on earth is this? Let's have, hang on, get it out. Oh. oh, it's an old chart recorder. Look at that. Hybrid chart recorder. <laughs> Neat. That, that'd make it for an interesting teardown. What else have we got here? Lots of old stuff. Uh, oh, look at that nice, oh, look at that meter. That's fantastic. Uh, 50 gig electronic millivolt meter. 1.5 gig bandwidth millivolt meter. Ma made in the old Dart. That'll make for an interesting teardown. Marconi. That's sweet. So, oh, it's probably got one. Oh, oh what? Okay. Oh, that, that's that's the probe for it. <laughs> of course, abs probably. I don't know if any of this stuff works, but uh, yeah, it's just. All the old stuff, so I'll nab that. That'll make for an interesting teardown. What do we got? That looks like a scopey. No? What is that? A, a jitter generator. Jitter, no, I thought it was a receiver. Jitter generator and receiver. So, that could be an interesting. Do not use until tested and calibrated. So, that could be interesting. That'd make an old school teardown. And they've got the old school uh, uh, seven segment bubble displays in there. So let's have a look. Yeah, this is not useful gear. Well, it might work, I don't know, but uh, but interesting, lots of interesting teardown stuff anyway. Don't know what that is, but I like it and I want it. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of have to dig you don't have to dig deeper, but uh, yeah, there's lots of other stuff in here, but there you go. A commercial dumpster. I can't tell you the uh, company or the location that is uh, tossing this out, but anyway, let me literally dive into the dumpster and uh, get a good look. As you dig deeper down into the pile, you just find like, you know, random stuff like a couple of uh, toroidal transformers and stuff like that. Yeah. Cheng Seng, I think they should have thrown that out, definitely. Um, th there's a lot of garbage down the bottom, so I don't particularly like the idea of digging much deeper into this. I think it's a, a base layer of garbage with uh, a bunch of um, instruments thrown on top as an afterthought and these huge light fittings and uh, stuff. I've taken a few of the light fittings out and uh, to try and get access to the gear. There's another, another bit of HP kit down in there, just buried away. I'll see what that is. Oh, giant lamp for you lamp fanboys. Look at that. Beautiful. Now something's burnt the crap out of this foam. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Somebody had fun. Well, the technical reference manual's here for this Tektronix scope, but I don't see the scope. Maybe it's already gone or they didn't bother throwing it out or it's underneath all this crap somewhere. Hmm. 
it's like a dumpster onion this thing look what you oh there's the uh there's the user manual for that tech scope <laughs> i really want that tech scope now look at this bad boy oh wow oh that's a uh that has got to be an rf that looks like an rf attenuator like a waveguide attenuator wow i nabbed that no electronics in it it's all physical sweet there's there's nothing on it there's no identifier at all someone's taken off the lid here we go we've got a boot full of stuff um it's not particularly like yeah worth much if anything but going to be lots of interesting teardowns of course we've got the uh, uh marconi millivoltmeter here i've got uh, some sort of battery fighter whatever that is some sort of you know uh, commercial battery uh charger we've got uh, sorry i can't see the uh we've got a sweep gen or something we'll take a look at that and we've got that uh, Siemens level oscillator there, 18.6 meg. And we've got a good old uh, Tech 475 scope. Look at that. I think it's got the uh, user and service manual in the top of it. Uh, we've got ourselves in the original padded bag. Thank you very much. Uh, Wandel and Goltman, uh, some sort of generator. So, <laughs> yeah, noise, level, flat. Yep, some sort of uh, industry specific gen we've got the hp uh 3785 jitter generator and receiver you know it's ancient um <laughs> i think that you know they basically go for their uh scrap weight on ebay i've got a, a rectifier down here i'm not sure what that is 48 volt dc rectifier weird i've got uh i have to show you in more detail but this is an, a schaffner Made in Switzerland, hi to all my Swiss viewers. Uh, interference simulator, mains interference simulator. So it simulates, um, you know, noise and pulses and stuff on the mains. Fantastic, I wonder if that works because they actually go for uh, quite a pretty penny if they do work. I've got a HP uh, 15 volt, uh, what, how many amps? <laughs> it's gotta be more than six amps because the thing weighs a ton. It's the heaviest thing here in here. It's unbelievably heavy. Um, and I think the chart recorder, I'm not sure if I'll take the chart recorder. I'm not sure how interesting that is, but there you go. We go, oh, sorry. And, oh, yep, we've got this uh, 500 volt DC power supply custom job. Made many a similar sort of custom thing back in the day. 10 turn pot, it's got one of the uh, tricky dick uh, <laughs> knobs on there. Fantastic, big beefy binding post. Look at that, fantastic, but that's... Uh, 200 milliamps presumably 500 volt supply I've got this interesting thing which I take a look at it's a PowerPoint it's just a PowerPoint it's got nothing on the other side nothing comes in there's nothing on the top I won't show the label but uh, it's basically a PowerPoint with a is that a micro USB and a mini B thing so that's gonna like mystery tear down what is it it's called the platypus could be some prototype or whatever but anyway there you go that's what i nabbed a whole bunch of interesting tear down tuesdays all right i'm back in the bunker this was supposed to be tear down tuesday so i may as well show you inside something in a bit more detail as i said this uh 500 volt dc power supply is uh is not branded because it's i can guarantee you it's absolutely custom i've made lots of custom uh test instruments like this in these sort of uh rack mount cases absolutely classic is that no that's not uh etched i've had them like um uh, milled out like the front panel is actually milled anyway it's, it's a dead giveaway this switch is readily available from uh tricky dicks um i don't know did jcar sell these these days this probably dates from the 80s, I'd be guessing. Anyway, um, big binding posts. It's just got classic, uh, you know, whoop, on. And, mm, not sure what that is. Anyway, um, obviously custom design. They needed, a, you know, a 500 volt power supply at a couple hundred milliamps. I don't know why they rolled their own, but they probably, you know, they obviously had their requirements. Let's take a look. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the lid. So, uh, so <laughs> the TO220 on the back there, that's a bit how you're doing. Check that out. Sorry, I'm just shooting this. I don't have my regular camera here. 
I'm just, oh, that's pretty crap, isn't it? Anyway, I assume that's some sort of high voltage tranny. Can't read it here. They've rolled their own, uh, it's just a tin plate PCB, so they've either rolled their own or they've just had it uh, made cheaply. Like, you know, none of this uh, double-sided silk screen solder mask, you know, plated through whole rubbish. Um, it looks like it is, it's, yeah, it's, I doubt it's even, it's not even through hole. We've got a tan, tantalum there, bodged onto uh, that chip, whatever that is, probably some sort of little op amp. Um, and what, got a big choke in there. Anyway, it's some sort of uh, switch mode type thing, so, but it's got some big ass caps, very, very nice. And, ooh, double stacker. Look at that. Wow, that one's just flapping around in the breeze right in front. Obviously, it's not a power device. Uh, they've got, that's what the, uh, oh, yeah, double sided. There you go. Double sided. There you go. There's a 10 turn trimmer down there. And classic how you doing do it yourself style so but they've done it neat and tidy got the toroidal transformer they've wrapped up their mains wiring nice and neat look at that although a neutral is just flapping around in the breeze there look at that don't particularly like that because if you get your uh, your neutrals uh, your active and neutral swapped around like as we have the multiple earth neutral system here your neutral is tied to your earth back at the uh, back at your distribution board so technically you could short out your neutral to your earth and it wouldn't be a problem but if some doofus has uh, wired your house or your uh, unit your factory or whatever wrong and swap the active and neutral uh, you can come a gutter and uh, yep you won't know it until you short out like that and <laughs> scraped away all the uh, but they've done that right they've crimped that and scraped it away someone's really had a go at scraping away that that's pretty remarkable wow that's, yeah, oh, that's, oh, that's bridge rectifier. That's the, of course, of course, that's the bridge rectifier. Obviously gets a little bit hot ski, and uh, they've just like rolled their own custom heat fins on the back there. Looks like they've got a, no, just a long screw. I'm not sure if they're using that for, no, it's just a easy to get on with a nut driver with a, <laughs> <laughs> do-it-yourself power supply fins but anyway it's you know it's all neatly uh, laid out cable tied all that sort of stuff I love the meters on it very very nice fantastic look at that but yeah they have rolled their own custom power supply either they couldn't get exactly what they wanted from the market at the time because uh, it would have taken them quite some time you know they put a bit, quite a bit of effort into this um, so it's not like it was slapped together in an afternoon so it's, anyway, oh, little, little trimmer flapping around in the breeze. There you go. It's obviously they didn't uh, refine this uh, circuit before production. I don't know how many units would have been produced. One, ten. Oh, no. Uh, no, that's asset number. Property tag. But no serial number. No name. Who knows? But there you go. There's a little tear down of a uh, custom um, you know, some sort. Of, it's not automated. There's no automated interface to it or anything like that. But just a custom power supply that somebody needed. Anyway, there you go. This was supposed to be a teardown Tuesday, and you got a teardown. Awesome. Anyway, teardown Tuesday is going to be a thing um, because I have a bunch of stuff down here in the bunker, and now with all this dump, I already had stuff, but now with this uh, recent dumpster dive, I've got a bunch more test instruments. So. Teardown Tuesday will hopefully be a regular thing again. Catch you next time.